A dial caliper is another precision, precision device which has uh, three different capabilities that uh, a, <clears throat> a micrometer doesn't have. A micrometer can only measure the outside gap, the outside distance of, a, of an item. A micrometer, I mean a, a veneer caliper, this is a dial caliper, can measure uh, with the, this top part here, the inside diameter or the inside gap. The out, uh, this, these jaws are used for the outside gap and many of them have a way of measuring depth. And sometimes you'll see shoes attached to them exactly for measuring, for more accurate depth measurements. So to measure an inside diameter, these jaws, and it has a rotating device, first we want first to use it, we want to make sure that our jaws are clean, and uh, usually do that with a, a soft rag, bring it to zero, and then there's a dial, a little set screw here that you can unloosen and bring the dial to zero, so you set the device to zero. Then if we're going to measure the inside diameter of this hole, we can bring that in there. And again, we have you have to rotate it around in a hole to make sure you have the right, the, the whole diameter uh, span. And I have the measurement. Now I can read it. And this there's a lock here. This, this device here will tighten up and lock it down so you can pull it away and read it. So this reading is from the this line here across. We read one thousandths, two thousand, one hundred thousandths, two hundred thousandths, three hundred thousandths, four hundred thousandths, and it's past four hundred thousandths, but not all the way to the five hundred thousandths mark. So this would read point four, and then two zero. So this dial, each division of this dial is one thousandth of an inch. So this needle is pointing exactly at two zero. So we add that to the four hundred thousandths, point four two zero. So that's the whole size there. Let's try this gauge here, which this gauge block has been precisionly made to point three five zero. We'll put this in this part of the device, which it measures outside diameter. I have to loosen up the a hold, put tension on it with this with the thumb wheel, and then you can read it measures one hundred thousandths, two hundred thousandths, three hundred thousandths, plus fifty, which is what we expected because this gauge block is a point three five oh gauge block. Now one other thing that this micrometer can do this A near caliper can do, and actually, again, a dial caliper is to measure depth. So let's say that we wanted to know how deep this hole is. We can stand this up on the hole and rotate it down until we feel a, t a stoppage, and that'll give us a reading of how deep that hole is, because this probe is going down and stopping on as it bottoms out. So we can measure this again. Tighten down and look at the veneer. Again, it's reading 100 thousandths, 200 thousandths, 300 thousandths, four, past 400 thousandths, and about 12 thousandths past, the, past that. So this reading would be 0 0.412. This, uh, my, this gauge does not go out to 10 thousandths of an inch but some of them will. And again, these can be purchased with digital readout, which reads out exactly the measurement, or they can be completely veneer, in which you get all the readings off of veneer. This is one step in between. It has the thousands reading up to each rotation of this uh, dial is a hundred thousandths of an inch, so each division is one thousandth of an inch, and this is the in-between measurement type.